guys, it's Michelle and this is Heartbeats. Today we are talking to Lynn Ward, who had an awesome career in the West End, doing theatre and singing and even TV. So I hope you guys enjoy and get a lot from this interview because she's a wonderful lady. And I oh yes, Sandra I belong to the most incredible group of singers called the Uxacona Singers. And they were, they did only madrigals and um, old secular music. What are madrigals? Sorry? Madrigals, madrigals. Do you know madrigals? Mm -hmm. You know when music first started, the, the monks used to open a book in the like four parts. Oh, and they chant like vowels. And, and they chanted. Oh, yes. And that was, that was um, the church music. And then mm. the secular music, the people's music, mm. were the madrigals. Like, um, oh, like I'll sing you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Like, Fair Phyllis I saw sitting on a lawn, feeding her flock near to the mountain side. Then they come in. Fair Phyllis I saw sitting on a lawn, feeding her flock near to the mountain side. And then you go. The shepherds knew not, they knew not whither she was gone. And yeah, da, yeah, da, 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 da. But after her lover, after her lover, I'm in her side. Up and down, uh, up and down the fountains. Now they're looking for it. Up and down, 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 up and down. And they do it in four parts. Oh, wow. they were the madrigals. Yes. Um, another one. A silver swan whose living had no note when death approached, unlocked the silent something or other. <laughs> um, and then it comes to the most incredible. Um, chord, which is clashes beautifully, mm. but they all they're all singing from the four sides, and all this group did was the madrigals, which was the early pop music, yeah, and the church music. So we did all the Kyrie's and all those, oh, wow. and we went all over England to all the big castles singing there. Oh wow! Yes, and then we'd have. Oh, and all these lords and ladies, and we had dinner with them afterwards. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, I've forgotten all that part of my life, actually. That was, that was from about age 11 to 16. That must have been an amazing experience for you. And the reason we were called Axacona was because we lived along the A5 road, mm -hmm. and they were doing a lot of um, excavating and building, and they, they started digging down to build a shopping centre, and they found an old Roman um, village called Uxacona. Oh, wow! And hence the reason we became the Uxacona singers. Oh, wow! Yes. Yeah, it's lovely with the heritage and... Yeah, oh, it was wow. absolutely tremendous. And we, oh, it was great. We went off nearly every weekend somewhere singing. Um, and the, the choir master at one point also was my music teacher. And he became the director of... Um, First, the Birmingham School of Music, and then the Jamaican School of Music. Jamaica, I've never heard yes, of that. Yes, he went to work in Jamaica for about ten years. Wow! So he came. He became quite famous himself. Mm. His name was Rob, Robert Williams, a typical little Welshman. Oh. Um, so dedicated, especially to choral music. Yeah, yeah. He did. He did a wonderful job with it, with that choir. Really brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good little chunk. <laughs> yes. well, what kind of music do you enjoy playing on piano? Very little. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't enjoy the piano at all. Or was it just a thing out of yeah. necessity? And, well, we had to do a keyboard instrument if we oh. did singing. Oh. Uh, you had to do piano or organ. Just as part of your course, yeah. Wow. But I'd always taken piano, but I was never really dedicated to it. Yeah. Um, Anything slow suited me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, I to, if I had to work those fingers, I wasn't too good. Yeah. <laughs> and I had a little time on a flute and a French horn as well. Oh, really? Just for a whim. <laughs> but no, neither were, were for me. <laughs> but you try these things. You yeah, know? it's nice to do mm. try different things. And yeah. Even if you don't make a profession out yes. of it, it's just to be adventurous. I've even, I've even got two to do didgeridoos here. <laughs> do you play them? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I've got the how to do book. Yeah, I yeah. can get a sound out of them, but I can't get music out of them. <laughs> uh, I like, um, I like so 
so much. <laughs> <laughs> I like so much. I guess I, I really should categorise it because my my voice lends itself to all the light things, mm. um, and I do like um, a lot in Mozart. Oh, really? Yes. I mean, my voice suits Mozart very well. But I did love doing Caro Nomi oh, wow. when I did my my finals, and and yet my voice wasn't really big enough for it because I was just a mere young girl at the time. Mm. Um, yeah, I just like all songs with a soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I love operatic prayers. Oh, yes, wow. I, I don't know if you've seen that CD of, of operatic prayers. Oh, oh, I really love that, every single song on there. Oh, because yes. of all the soul yes. and, yes. and yeah. the lyrics, I guess. Actually. Yeah, really mm. nice. Mm. So oh, and yes, my favourite, favourite, favourite is Verdi's Requiem. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> but I've never sung it. I mean, I've, I've never, I've sung it in the, cho in the chorus, but mm. I've never been a soloist in it. Oh, yeah. But that is to die for. I love that. <laughs> yeah. oh, thanks, Lynn. <laughs> what has been your, or well, the greatest highlight for you, though? Right in the beginning, um, in my first show, the show that on the stage that I always wanted to be on, we were asked to go along with the comedian Ken Dodd to sing before the Queen of England. Oh, wow. So um, we went to Liverpool. We had two days off. We went for a rehearsal day and a proper day. And there were many, many, many famous people performing on that same day. Like, um, I have to think of them. Famous, famous people. Do you remember the man that did uh, Give Me the Moonlight, Give Me the Star, oh, sorry. And the rest <laughs> to me, him? Anyway, we, we performed with Ken Dodd for the Queen of England. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, that was, that was really that awesome. was a, that was a highlight. Yes. <laughs> I'd just like to finish up by saying that if I were to go back and do it all over again, I wouldn't give up when I came to South Africa next time. I'd carry on because I think I've missed such a whopping chunk of what could have been a very exciting career. And to anybody going into it now, just go on and on and on to the end. It's worth it. Thanks. Yeah. And I'm really grateful for meeting you. Really. And I feel that you're a real gift. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Yeah, it's a pleasure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hope you can make something of it. Oh.